Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series. Welcome to Project Ozone. This is a mod pack that is available on the Curse Launcher, made by the Cazador Sniper. And uh, I believe he made it for uh, a friend of mine, actually, a streamer on Twitch by the name of OG Aristotle. I'll put links to all the uh, appropriate stuff in the video description down below. But basically, this is a Skyblock mod pack that is essentially built around the idea of being overpowered, <laughs> which really kind of appeals to me. Um, if you're going to play this mod pack, when you're creating the world, make sure you set the world type to Garden of Glass from Botania, uh, and that will give you this lovely little sky block, and it also gives you this cobble gen method right here. So you basically just shift right, click, uh, shift right click the grass, talking today might be a problem, uh, and that will give you these pebbles, which you can then take and craft into cobblestone, like so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather a bit of cobblestone, and then we're going to make a platform that goes down that way, and uh, we'll get all these goodies and stuff like that, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. We've got ourselves a pretty good amount of pebbles, and if we go into the quest book, there's a few quests that we can claim right off the bat. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and do this one called a random act of kindness. It'll give you some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take the slimy sapling as a quest reward. It also gives us this uh, chance cube, which is kind of like a lucky block, but uh, there are some pretty nasty things in there, so I'm not going to open that just yet. I'm going to store that for now, just in case it gives us something really bad. We don't want to uh, to lose all of our stuff right away. The other thing we can do is right here, this quest, Pound the Ground, when we get 64 cobble, we can do another quest reward. That'll give us an extra life and a reward bag, which gives us 23 dirt. Okay, well, actually, that could have been a lot worse. I'll take it. Um, now, I want to make a platform that comes down below because, well, basically, I want to make sure that I can get all this stuff without losing any of it. And I want a platform so that when we grow a tree right here, uh, most of the saplings won't fall into the void. So let's go ahead and actually, let's go ahead and grow one tree first. Uh, and the we don't start with bone meal, but if you just hit shift a bunch of times, that essentially bone meals the tree for you. Like so, it'll grow. We're basically twerking for trees. <laughs> and that's going to give us a large tree, it looks like. Hmm. Well, it's something at least, I guess. It's fine. It's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and take one of those and just make it into a Tinker's Crafting Bench real quick. And that way we can make slabs um, out of at least most of this cobble. Let's turn about... Let's do 33 as slabs, and the rest we'll leave as just regular cobblestone. Okay, so I want to work my way down here, and we're going to do this as carefully as we can. So, let's put those right here. We'll take our regular cobble, and we're going to try and do this very carefully. I want to get this down below everything, right around there looks good, and let's just, there we go, okay, so we've got the beginnings of a platform here, let me get this all filled out guys, and I'll be back with you in just a moment, alright guys, I am back, we've got ourselves a nice little platform here, so let's start breaking some of this good stuff, and this is going to give us living root, uh, which will be used for Botania stuff, and it will also just, uh, we'll be able to get some of this dirt and some of this other kind of stuff as well. I'm going to leave the um, water right where it's at so we have a way to get back up, and um, I am going to make sure, I did make sure that these this platform is down half a slab. That way there's no spawnable area down here, uh, because that would be bad. So, let's go ahead and get the living root. And I'll see how much I remember from my Garden of Glass series that I did with Brink the Gamer a while back. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> I do admit, I'm a little bit rusty. But I think we'll be okay. Um, there we go, that should work. And let's put 
a platform right there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, now I want to make another platform that goes out here. So, and we want this one to be down half a block. Once again, prevent anything nasty from spawning. And I'm thinking we'll bring it out maybe one, two, three. That should be big enough to catch pretty much everything for the mob drop, or for the, uh, the drops from the saplings, I think. So it'll go something like this. I am going to have to gather... Uh, a bit more cobble, it looks like, but that's fine. So, let me get this platform up here made, guys, and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, guys, I am back. We've got ourselves a nice platform up here to catch all the things that fall from the tree. So, at this point, we just need to chop down the tree. And I did go ahead and make myself a stone pick and a stone axe to make this a little bit faster. Uh, now, it looks like Fast Leaf Decay is enabled in this pack, which is great. Um, I am going to want a Crook, because we're going to need a bunch more saplings. So let's make uh, a couple of those. And then we'll just start chopping stuff down. We'll use the Crook on the leaves, and that will give us a couple things. That will give us a chance to get Silkworms, and it will give us a higher chance of getting saplings and apples as well. Which is always a good thing. So, we'll do this for a little bit. Like so. Stuff is disappearing when it shouldn't be. That's okay. Uh, did we get any silkworms yet? No, not yet. Okay. Let's get up a little bit higher. Here we go. And I'll chop down some of this tree. The good news about this being a large tree right off the bat is that we've got a pretty good chance of having... Uh, silkworm drop from it, rather than having to grow a whole bunch of trees, and it will also give us plenty of wood to get started as well. So, could be worse. These trees, when they're larger like this, they are a little bit more annoying to chop down, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna finish chopping this thing down, guys. I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, guys, I am back, and we got ourselves a silkworm, we got some oak wood, and we got a bunch of saplings. So, this is good. This is very good. Let's take a look at the quest book and see we need four oak barrels and 32 oak logs which I do not have okay well it is raining so let's go ahead and make the oak logs um, that will be enough one two three four and then we'll do four barrels and two of them I'll put uh, I guess over here and those will start filling up with water, so we'll have an infinite water source uh, once we have access to a bucket. So that'll be helpful. Uh, but it looks like I also need to grow myself another tree, because this one is not doing it. So, let's go ahead and do that right away as well. I think I'm going to put my crafting table right here. It looks a little derp with the way it's set up right now, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. And we'll shift and grow it. So I'm going to chop down another tree, guys, so I get enough wood. I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So, um, I decided to use the silkworm on this tree, and you can see a lot of those leaves have changed so that they're now all white like that, and that means that they are fully infested with silkworms and that they can drop string, which is good because string is something that we need, and we need quite a lot of. Uh, for a bed, and for a sieve, and for all sorts of good stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and grab all this. They also have a much higher chance of dropping silkworms as well. But if we come up here... Ew, let's not use the axe. Here we go. Want to use the crook. No, stop disappearing. A lot of these will drop and give us string. We've got seven string. I see some more sitting down there as well. So I think we'll be good. Um, and I want this infestation to spread throughout the tree, or I can just fall. That's always that's always cool, too. Everybody likes falling. Anyway, so we've got 13 string here. I am going to go ahead right away and make three wool so that we can make ourselves a bed. I did a bunch of grinding while I was waiting for that to spread. Why did I do that? I did a bunch of grinding while I was waiting for that to spread and got a bunch more cobblestone. So I think we'll be good. Um, let's put our bed right 
Um, let's put our bed right here, I guess. Sure, <laughs> why not? We're gonna need more chest space in a little bit anyway. Um, but I think, at this point, we'll probably have enough silk for what we need, because I believe the sieve, if I remember correctly, is 9x9, nine nine, or is like a 3x3? Three three. Yeah, so we're gonna need another 18 string, which is quite a bit, but this is a pretty big tree, so we might be alright. I think I also realized why the tree that grows is always a big tree. Because this mana flash is sitting here, um, that means that the tree will basically always grow to be large. Just due to the way that Minecraft works, placement of the tree, um, Exuma actually did a video very recently about how to grow a big tree every time, and basically there needs to be a transparent block like glass or a slab pretty much right where this thing is placed. So I think that's why it's always been growing a big tree for me. Uh, but that's just a theory. I'm, gu I'm guessing if I move... Uh, the dirt and grow it somewhere else. It won't always be a big tree. Anyway, though I'm just kind of rambling now Let me finish getting all the silk and the string from this tree and I'll be back with you in just a little bit All right guys, I am back and we have finished felling the oak It's all done. It's all taken care of and we got a lot of goodies from doing that So let's take a look here. Let's just kind of inventory everything up. We have 49 wood we have 51 string and we got 23 silkworms and 38 saplings out of that so that's quite a lot of stuff we can now go into our quest book and claim a reward bag and some other goodies that also gives us a little bit of food uh, and a heart canister so there we go let's see what we get in the reward bag 32 bedrock interesting okay so we got bedrock and we got a flux infused crook, which is quite useful actually. Um, let's go ahead and eat an apple. It looks like the the uh, hunger values for that have not decreased at all, which is actually I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Sometimes these skyblock packs can be very very grindy if you're not careful. So uh, let's see. I think I'll put all of my blocks in here. And leave all this stuff over here. Okay, so let's see what's next in the quest book. We've got the sieve. We have holy spirits. Every 20 Minecraft days, you can gain an extra life. Kill 32 spirits. The only quest that does not give a chance cube. Okay, fair enough. And then we have the one for the sieve. So let's make two silk mesh. And we make that using the string. Like so. There we go. And then we'll take some oak wood and the recipe. Let's see. We're going to need a couple sticks and we're going to need a couple planks. There we go. That gives us the oak sieve. And then we also. Yep, that's everything. Cool. And that gives us a reward bag as well, which will give us a sponge and another sponge. Okay, I don't know what those are actually used for at the moment, but I'm sure we'll find a use of some sort. Now, to get actual resources in this, once again, I'm not going to, I'm not touching my chance cubes just yet. I'll get there. But to get actual resources in this, all you need to do is take cobblestone. And we can just put that down like this. And you take a stone hammer, which I'll probably have to craft another one of. Or you can use, there's also a wooden hammer and an iron hammer and all that kind of stuff. But I'll just use the stone one for now. You just take those and use that on the cobblestone and that will give you gravel. You can then take the gravel and put it in your handy dandy sieve and grind it into stuff. So, it will give you various different things. Uh, flint, for example, is included. It'll give you iron ore. It'll give you all sorts of different things. So, here we have broken iron ore. We can actually turn that into iron ore gravel, and when we smelt it, uh, it will eventually give us an iron ingot. We can, it's basically, 
Broken iron ore gravel is just basically iron ore. You can smelt it into an iron ingot or throw it in a smeltery or any of those kinds of things. So I'm going to grind up some of this cobblestone, see what resources I can get, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So I ground up one stack of cobblestone, and this is what I got. That's not bad. We got we got an, a 64 broken iron ore. So it seems like the drop rate in o in uh, Project Ozone for the sieve is a lot higher than in some of the other sky blocks I've played, like Agrarian Skies. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now we're going to take our iron gravel ore and put it down as iron gravel, just like this. And then we'll go ahead and hammer that into pieces. And basically, by hammering it and then hammering it again, this is essentially going to give us a chance to get a little bit more than just the 16 iron ore that we had initially. So we didn't really get anything extra there from the crushed, uh, but we got enough for just a little bit. And then here we go. We can do this one more time and take the sand and crush it into dust. And then this will hopefully give us a little bit more than what we had before. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So we basically ended up... Ooh, why you get all weird? There we go. We basically ended up with 18 iron ore dust. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So let's take a little bit of our cobblestone and we'll take these cobblestone slabs and I'm going to make a slab furnace. And we'll put that, we'll put that right, oh, I can't put it there. Um, where should I put you? Let's put you, let's put it right here. That's fine. And we'll throw that in there, and then I'll take a little bit of this coal, and we'll just, ooh, is Z-Tones in here? Ooh, it's not. Okay. That's too bad. Oh, well. Let's cook some of that stuff up. And that will soon turn into iron ore, which is good. And I can't sleep for whatever reason. Uh, but once we have our three iron ingots, that will allow us to make an infinite water source, which is going to be fairly important. So let's grab some cobblestone here. Let's go ahead and make a few cobblestone slabs. And I think we'll put our infinite water source, like, right here. We'll just do something like this, is kind of what I'm thinking. There we go. And this is, yeah, infinite water source will go right in here. Oh, man, I keep running out of slabs. I should make more. Let's just do this. There we go. I can always turn them back later. So we'll do that. That looks good. And let's make a little staircase type thing going up to it like this. And that makes it easier to get to. So we got some iron ingots here. Let's make a bucket. Uh, actually, let's make two. No, let's just make one bucket. Let's be smart with our... Let's be smart with our limited resources. It is a sky block after all. And we're not, you know, we're not all powerful just yet. And there we go. Infinite water source. Beautiful. And we'll just fill that in. Okay. So that looks good. And let's take a look at the quest book and see what's up next. So we've got getting ore, broken copper ore. Okay. We'll go ahead and claim that. That gives us another reward bag that gives us dust and a fancy lantern. Eh. Not so much. That's... I was hoping to get something that would actually help us a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, and another chance cube, which I'm I'm not opening those yet. I'm just not going to do it until I have a little bit more going on and I'm a little, I have a safe place to actually do it. Now, I do need to make clay. So, we're going to need eight clay, the dust we're going to need for that, and more importantly, we're going to need this infinite water source. So, if we take a barrel, actually, I've got a couple barrels. Let's just put Let's just put one, like, right here and right here. That's fine. And we can put those in there. And then when we add the dust, it turns into clay. 
just like that. And there we go. Well, how do you get more dust? It's pretty straightforward. You just take cobblestone and use your hammer. And then you can hammer it into gravel. You can then hammer the gravel into sand. And then you can hammer the sand into dust. And we'll use that to get ourselves a bit more clay. So let's fill these up. Mm-hmm. Like so. And there we go. We now have eight clay. And we can turn that in, get a, another reward bag. And that gives us amazing Technicolor glasses. Yay! Now I look fabulous. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Sorry. I digress. And then once we have that, we can make the crucible. We're going to need porcelain, uh, uh, porcelain clay and an unfired crucible. So let's take a look at the porcelain. Porcelain. There we go. Porcelain clay is clay and bone meal. Unfortunately, I don't have any bone meal. And before I can get it, I think I'm going to need a mob spawner of some sort. So we might have to hold off on that just for the time being unless we can find some other way to get our clay. Let's look at the quest book again. Is there anything else that I can get here? We got a watering can. That I, oh, I need a bone, I need bone meal to make that as well. So it looks like our next step is really gonna be to get the mob farm going. Yep. That is definitely going to be the next step. But as for this episode, guys, I think I am pretty much out of time so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.